lava beast. <laughs> to move, to feel. It must be the crystal of souls is shattered. <laughs> Skull Master, that gutless thief corrupted its power to gauge my might and steal my kingdom. <laughs> But now that I'm free, I will have my revenge! And I will be waiting. The shattering of my crystal released you, Lava Lord. But your freedom will lead to obliteration, not revenge. And as for the cap bearer who caused this disaster, I crave nothing more than the chance to shatter him in return. Yeah! Once again, Maxi shreds an automotive obstacle course with the greatest of ease. Thank you very much. Audacious maneuvering, Max. Ha, you ain't seen nothing yet, buddy. Watch me maximize this mobile. Now this is what being a kid is all about, man. Excitement in my veins, the wind in my face. Huh. Ancient Fowl directs Mighty One to nearest portal. Typical, just what I didn't need. Right not, Virgil, pal. Mighty Max has retired. I like my life just as it is, thank you very much. than Virgil. Oh, no. Not again. Nice to see you, Mighty One. Virgil, you know I hate summit conferences. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Mighty One. Follow me. There's not a second to waste. L listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about this Mighty One thing, Virg, okay? No! <sighs> Virgil, I've had it. I am giving you back the cap. You can't. It is your destiny to be the cap bearer and to go back to Skull Mountain and destroy Skullmaster. No, Virgil. I am serious, okay? This is it. No more. Zip, nada, finito. Stick me with a fork. I am done. The end. Very well. If that is your wish, there is one way to relieve you of this burden. Follow me. You see, because of an impending battle in the underworld, not to mention your destruction of the Crystal of Souls, Skullmaster has been so distracted and weakened, you should be able to destroy him before he even knows you're there. Uh, speaking of there, where are we now? I believe it's a little town called Pamplona. Now stop interrupting me and run! You see, Mighty One, even though it's earlier than I planned, we can still defeat Skullmaster, but only if you do what I say. Uh, okay, sure. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. No matter what happens, when the time comes, you must do exactly what I say. You must promise. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Okay, Verge, I, I promise. Good. No more of this hero stuff. No more Mighty Max, okay? No more Mighty Max. For in destroying Skullbuster, we all will have fulfilled our destiny. And perhaps more than lava as well. You rock monsters, into position now! For the only thing that could make the annihilation of Lava Lord more satisfying would be to share my triumph with a very old friend. <laughs> Now quickly, before anyone knows we've arrived in Skull Mountain, we must... Oh dear. <laughs> Your strategic maneuvers were always so painfully easy to anticipate. I knew you would come to pick over my dead bones, old friend. You know, I was afraid of something like that. This time, we'll be picking over chicken bones. Attack! So, Verge, any random thoughts about a possible plan B? Fall in behind the Guardian and run! It is your destiny to emerge victorious. Norman! Norman, get back here! We gotta save Virgil! No, mighty one, no! You agree to follow my instructions exactly, and my instructions are to run! <laughs> Make Virgil very happy if, for once, you just did what he asked you to. out of the underworld is right down there. All we have to do is jump for it, and we are out of here for good. But wait, if we do that, Virgil is done for. It's your choice, mighty one. Man. Oh, come on, Norman. What'll it be? Should we jump for the portal and save our lives? Destroy the Canberra! Or take on the combined forces of the underworld and try to save our friend who's probably already dead. Like I said, Mighty One, it's up to you. Yeah, you did say that, didn't you? Oh, well, I'll probably regret this in the morning, but let's get him! I knew you'd make the sensible choice. <laughs> Lava Lord learns of your intrusion into his realm. He commands you come immediately. And if we don't? You die. I can live with that. Virgil's gonna be 
be okay? No. Uh, I was afraid you'd say that. Hey, wait a minute. Check it out. That rock bridge looks like it leads back to Skull Mountain. All I ask is one clean shot at Skullmaster. Just one. <laughs> Now the Lord awaits. Go! Sorry, Sparky, but we got a 10,000-year-old chicken we need to see first. After him! Hey, Normie! What say you slow that hot shot down, huh? No sweat, mighty one! <laughs> Easy for him to say. I mean, this critter is warm. Keep running! Suppose we got it wrong, and Virgil's supposed to rescue us? It's good to see you, Virgil, old friend. Uh, but I've been thinking, even though you were my teacher in those distant days of Lemuria's golden age, there were many lessons I learned that you never taught. Lessons of cruelty and selfishness. Lessons of effectiveness and realism. In case you haven't noticed, the world is a very cruel place. Take, for example, the destruction of my prized possession, the Crystal of Souls, by your nasty little cap bearer. On the other hand, friendship also has its place. Old friend. You imply that I should use my wisdom to help restore your crystal. Why should I? So I can stop your cap bearer from destroying me. Of course. You want me to interfere with your destiny? It's impossible. What is written must be. In case you've forgotten, oh, friend. It is also written that your destiny and mine are inextricably bound. When I die, you are doomed as well. And the treasures of the ancient wisdom will perish with us forever. So, old friend, which will it be? Life and sovereign power with me. Or death. So, tell me, little one. Is there any reason I shouldn't toss you into that lava pit? Because you value your life? And sorry, wrong answer. And now we'll go to contestant number two. Because we're enemies of Skullmaster just like you? Ah, a better answer. But why exactly does that make you puny creatures special? Well... Apart from the fact that this cap right here says it's my destiny to destroy that boneheaded monster, um, I guess nothing at all. You? Destined to destroy Skullmaster? <laughs> Wait. There is a legend that speaks of a mighty one who will come to the underworld. <laughs> But how could the Mighty One be a worm like you? Hey, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> At least you're a worm with a sense of humor. <laughs> Come, I'll show you what will destroy Skullmaster. Behold, the ultimate engine of destruction. I give you Magus. Whoa! Oh man, with this bad boy, we could march up the Skull Mountain and snatch Virgil without blinking an eye! 
cool sound and light effects, but uh, what can it do? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Don't you see, Virgil? There are only two possible results if you pursue this ridiculous prophecy to the end. Either your cap bearer succeeds and we both die, or your cap bearer fails and you die all by yourself. There is, however, a third possibility. I'm listening. You know you can't count on this worm of a cap bearer you call Max. Whereas my strength and your mind can ensure that the wisdom of Lemuria will prevail. And so you are suggesting a partnership? Ah. Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Of course, the key to making our dream come true is <laughs> the cap. Of course. The cap it is. Well, I will agree, but only if you spare the boy. Spare Bax. Very well. But I must have the cap. Agreed. Now listen carefully, Skullmaster. I am beginning, yes indeed, I am beginning to formulate a plan. <laughs> has come from Skull Mountain. Norman, is that who I think it is? Virgil? But what's he doing with Skullmaster? Attack! Max, honey, are you in here? Hmm, knowing my son, he could be just about anywhere. Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne and Dante's Inferno. Just a little light reading for my Max. That's where Max must be, curled up with a good book at the library, where it's peaceful, quiet, and safe. 